frequencies, everybody. Oh, wow, y'all. It's a lot that's going on in my head that I'm going to share tomorrow when I have more time. Um, but I did want to get what happened last night um, shared. And it really wasn't even like the dream state, but it was. I was in this middle state where my body was, um, it hadn't came back, my my spirit energy hadn't came back into my avatar. And I know you all probably been in that middle state before. But there was this entity that was trying to ride me. And when I say that, that's pretty much like an entity that wants to use my physical form um, to go to different places or do different things. And <laughs> this always happens when I'm in my living room. And I believe it happens when I'm in my living room because I have a lot of sacred geometry symbols and uh, things in there. Um, and it's just a, I don't know, my living room is a high energy part of my space, of my home. And so, of course, I, I fell asleep on the couch. I was listening to Bobby Hemmett. Um, he was talking about the dark side. And he was going into, um, I was listening to the dark side, but I fell asleep listening to another video where he was talking about um, various goddesses and uh, various goddess energies. And so I fell asleep. Um, I saw some things in the dream realm. I came back. Well, my... And I forgot what you call it, where your spirit <clears throat> energy comes back before your avatar is awakened fully. And so I was kind of like in this middle state. Um, but I was trying to wake myself up. Now, when I was trying to do that, I also felt this other entity that was that was actually, like I was saying, trying to utilize my avatar at the same time that I'm trying to wake myself up. So, um, I have woke up a couple of times or I had enough energy because <clears throat> I was being like held down or, um, best way I can describe it, um, because I'm sure you all have had this happen to you before. Um, it feels like a force is keeping you from fully awakening <laughs> but you're woke inside you you are fully awake inside of your avatar but your avatar isn't moving isn't opening your eyes your body won't move won't nothing happen you just here and you're encased inside of this uh, meat suit but you can't really move and this has happened to me, all, you know, all my life, ever since I can remember, ever since I've been a little girl. Um, I've gotten to a point now, um, like last night when it happened, where um, I was, it was kind of almost funny that it was going on. I wasn't scared, upset, or fearful or anything, but I was really uh, pushing harder for myself to go ahead and wake up because I was like, I'm tired of being in this state. I'm ready to wake up. And I know it probably hadn't been that long um, while I was in that state, but to me it felt like it was a long time when you're ready to get up. It don't matter if it's a split second. When you ready to wake up, you ready to wake up when you ready to move. And so I saw myself moving my arm trying to hit my body now this was like my spirit energy waving my right arm trying to hit my body to like wake me up it was very funny and I did it um, so forcefully like waving my arm just hitting myself trying to wake myself up and I said okay so the last time I did it it was really like my spirit energy took like so much force hitting myself that I finally woke up and I came up and I was like okay let me get up let me go get, get in the bed let me get where I'm supposed to be and turn this TV off <laughs> because 
A, I've had this energy entity trying to ride me and utilize my avatar. B, I've come back, but not fully back into my avatar and I was ready to get up and that didn't happen. And then C, I've had to really use my spirit energy force um, to move my body to wake me up. And it was like, <laughs> I even see it like in my mind's eye, I, I could see my body laying on the couch. I was outside of my body, out of body experience, of course. But I could see my spirit energy moving my physical body energetically, not reality, to hit my body. So my spirit energy was trying to hit. And this 3D, the, just to get a good idea of how dense this reality is, um, the frequency here is so dense that... Um, even my spirit body trying to move and wake up my physical body like I said doing it energetically my inner my, my spirit body moving my trying to move my physical body's arm just my body like I ain't feel nothing so I had to use so much force energy with my spirit body to get me to wake up it was funny when I finally woke up I was like let me get my ass up uh, but yeah, that's what was going on last night in between these uh, rounds. And tomorrow, um, I know that I'm going to go live because I'm, I'm just taking in this information as it's coming to me. Um, and of course, I told you, I shared with you a little bit of the dream that I had a few days back of the half woman half serpent um the nagas so that naga serpent energy has been coming more and more to me and i have some some information that i want to share with you all on um what i processed and what i have uh received uh from the divine from higher force energy higher force than i am in this 3d reality i put it like that higher force than i am in this 3d form um in this holographic universe uh in this creep clone situation uh that we're engaging in uh yeah i'm gonna share that the information on the nagas that's coming to me and um some of the information would be from you know of course i've i've connected and had conversations early today in my spiritual um a friend of mine um also tantra teacher and he's just a very good knowledgeable person on all things spiritual um shared with me and some things he shared with me that resonated also some inward things from force that was shared with me that that i'm going to also give and then some things that i've listened to from um from some hindu practitioners uh online that also resonated in regards to the nagas but i'm definitely feeling that the woman that came to me, she was this huge woman. She was very, very heavy set. And her snake body was just as thick and big as it was just huge. It was just huge. Um, I'm going to go into that. And, then, and she felt like it, she was an ancestor. Um, definitely felt like an ancestor. Um, so... I'm going to go deeper into that as I still collect more information on that uh, for our studies and um, what I'm receiving from force. <clears throat> um, so, I want to leave you with that, you all. I was, it was this entity that, and it was funny because the entity was just really trying to <laughs> use, use my avatar. I was like not gonna happen and it's so funny because now i've gotten to a point in my walk that when things like that happen it don't make me afraid fearful scared upset angry uh 
nothing. I have no emotion towards. I, I have more of this energy of power over it, where it's like even it's ludicrous that you're even trying to try this with me. <laughs> and it's like that's what caused me to wake up, but my spirit came back faster than my body was ready to wake, ready to do it. It just the the timing or the the whole connection of it all just didn't happen all at once because I'm like y'all ass ain't fit to try to ride me you got me fucked up let me get back in my avatar because this is what's not fit to go off down and so yeah now it got to a point where I have more power over these entities that are trying to do whatever they're trying to do it's, it's, it's laughable it's very ludicrous and I'm sure you all had this happen to you all um knowingly or unknowingly <laughs> uh, but once you claim your power and you take back your power and you're not trying to call on Jesus and you're not trying to call on any type of uh, thing you have created as a deity in your life and you know the power you have within you then all of that shit is like let me get up if you don't leave me the fuck alone get back in my avatar and do what I'm supposed to do and, <laughs> and that's how I was last night y'all so I definitely wanted to share that but I will be um, back tomorrow um, whatever time that I'm guided to talking more on the Nagas and what has been given to me about the Nagas especially in relation to my connection to an ancestor that came to me with her half half snake and half human body so yeah y'all share that tomorrow so peace and high frequencies